We're going to make a rainbow fish. And uh, I've read you the rainbow fish the other day, uh, the lovely story, and uh, today we're just going to make our own. Now you can use uh, a paper plate uh, or just some card, um, or even some paper, but I think card would work better. And um, just some any old bits of like material and fabric and things that maybe you might have around the house, um, even like just some uh, paper or um, some sweet wrappers. Uh, anything like that really. So um, I think we'll sort of like start off with um, your card and cut it in a circle. If you can't cut it, maybe you could get a grown up to help you. Um, and if not, if you've got a paper plate, brilliant, don't even have to do any cutting. Okay, so um, you need a, a glue stick and if you've got some foil or Again, any little bits um, of paper and things that maybe your grown-ups could help you cut or something you could just sort of like rip yourself. It doesn't need to be perfect. So you could get your foil and kind of like rip it like that. You could get any bits of fabric uh, and, and cut that as well. Okay, so I think we'll start with just putting some glue on the Doing this quite quickly so you'll probably take your time and do it a lot better than me okay and then get your little pieces of fabric or pieces of foil and just kind of like randomly put it on I mean you've got like this wrapper like this here I might just want to like cut that for a bit and use this lovely golden piece on it okay and then, like my other pieces of fabric, I might want to just place on there, like that. I'm doing this quite quickly, but just to sort of like show you what you could do. Okay. Right, a bit more on. It'd be good to like sort of like cover it if you can, so you don't see any like white bits in between. So it really looks like the fish is covered. That's it. Okay. And again, random bits of fabric or any paper, tissue paper you might have, um, some paper from even a newspaper or something, you could just use anything. No, nope, there go, look, just poke that up. Okay. So once you've kind of like done about half of your fish, like that, about three quarters, um, you could maybe then try and either draw and colour some lips on, or like I've got here, I've got some red bits of fabric. I'm just going to stick these on so that they'll look like lips, hopefully, the fish's lips, like that. Okay. And we want kind of like a, like a fin. Now I have um, already, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> I always wanted to say that. <laughs> um, so here I have cut one out. But if you're not that great at cutting, um, and you just want to just tear some, some paper or some, like that, you could just sort of like tear some paper. You could like sort of stick that on the back. So I'm going to turn it over, just put a bit of glue here, okay, I'll use my one that I cut out, okay, and also you will need, um, so that's kind of like for the, the back, kind of like the thin bit there, okay, and then the top bit, so if you like that bit there, I think I'm just going to tear that again, so not a lot of cutting. And again, you put your glue on at the top there, stick that on there, and maybe like another little fin kind of like down here. Again, get your glue and your piece of fabric. Okay, and then 
There we go. Now, you do need an eye. Now, I think if you've got some googly eyes, that'd be fantastic. If you haven't, like mine haven't, I'm going to use just a pen. And I'm going to give this lovely rainbow fish a nice eye. And there you have it. A rainbow fish. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you want to stick something on it, like um, uh, a straw uh, or something like uh, a tube, you could do that. So you, you need some sellotape for this job. And you put your stick at the back. You don't want to sort of like see it at the front. So you stick it at the back of the rainbow fish. And there you have it. Your rainbow fish. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I'll speak to you and see you soon.